Hey, welcome to Chris JRS. My name is Chris, and in this video, I'm just going to be doing a quick review on the newest album from Kings of Leon, When You See Yourself. So, since I'm doing a music review, I thought it might be appropriate if I brought in my music microphone. It's a Shure 55SH Series 2, if you're wondering. I wasn't planning on doing a video like this because I don't feel like I'm a music aficionado or anything to be doing a deep dive on this album. So these are just my thoughts. If you are looking for a more in-depth review, then there are other YouTubers out there who probably have uh, done more in-depth reviews of the album. So you can check them out. Also, I didn't want to do a reaction video to one of the music videos because I know a reaction video for me would look something like Nice. So if you don't know who Kings of Leon are, they are a Southern American band made up of three brothers and their cousin. Uh, they've been around since the early 2000s. I've been a fan, not since the beginning, but pretty much since the middle of their career at this point with, only by the, with the Only By The Night album. And I can pretty much listen to all their albums without skipping any songs, which is kind of rare. I've seen them three times live, uh, 2009 in Hamilton, Ontario, not New Zealand, uh, in 2014 in Toronto, and 2016 in Nashville. And the Nashville show was actually one of the best concerts, one of the best rock concerts I've been to. It was for their album release of Walls, and I just happened to be in Nashville that same weekend when they were when they were having this, and I got tickets randomly. Nashville is actually a really cool place if you like live music and country music or just music in general. I like country, I like live music, so it was really fitting. Um, I suggest going to Nashville when, if you can, when you can, again. Now because they are from the American South, they do have a bit of a country vibe to them, but they are rock. So it's kind of a country meets rock vibe. Uh, if you ever listen to Back Down South, you'll hear it even more then. Now keep in mind, I am a fan, so I might be a little bit biased on my review. The album was released on March 5th, so it's been about a week now, and I've been listening to it on Spotify. It is available on all or most streaming services, so I have it on Spotify, and yeah, um, my main takeaway is that it is good. As a fan, it doesn't disappoint. It sounds like Kings of Leon. Um, if you're expecting something like The Charmer, then yeah, it's not like that. It's a little bit more laid back, which is something that I like. I do like laid back, more slow songs, so I do like this album. One small downside to the album is that there is no real hype songs. So if it was a concert setting, I don't see any songs that can really get the crowd going. Beside probably The Bandit and their opening riff, I can see that as the opening song where you know you hear that first bit and then the crowd would probably be like going wild but then after that everything kind of mellows out and I don't see any other song that would really have you like dancing like da, 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 da. so my favorite song on the album is 100,000 people it has that slow romantical vibe I'm not even really sure what the lyrics are about I haven't really listened to it that part I should check that out, but all other songs, you know, I could see some other songs even probably being used in a movie soundtrack or something like that in some kind of like dramatic scene. I can see this actually being a good road trip or night driving album. Um, I'm actually looking forward to probably testing that out. Uh, it is only 11 songs, so it won't be hard to get through the whole thing. And I would probably, I probably wouldn't be skipping any of them. Toward the end of the album, the last three songs are very slow, so just a warning. If they do manage to do a live show for this album, then yeah, I think I will go see them again. Um, this album didn't deter me from thinking that uh, I've seen them three times already, I don't need to go. No, I'll, I'll go again. It's decent enough. I think if they mix in some of their older stuff, then yeah, like you can have a really good concert. So if you haven't heard it yet, go check it out. It's on most or all streaming services. Um, 
and I'm not sponsored by Kings Leon in any way. If I was, that would be kind of cool, but I'm not. So this is just my review. If you heard the album, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. I do like almost all genres of music, so I hope I can do more of these music reviews in the future. Probably won't do them too often, but if it's something I feel like it's worth uh, reviewing, maybe I'll do another one. So I'll end things there. You know what to do, everything should be down below. Like or dislike the video, leave a comment, click the notification bell, but I am posting my videos every Sunday at 6 p.m. And subscribe if you haven't already. Now if you're new to the channel, then check out my first video so you can get a feel of what this channel is about. I'll link it in the end card. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Have fun.